How to graph and find absolute value on a complex plane. Our goal today is to learn how to graph complex numbers and to be able to use the Pythagorean theorem to find absolute values of complex numbers. So things to know is that one, the plane you graph on is just like an x and y plane, except the y the x axis represents real numbers and the y axis represents imaginary numbers. The second thing you need to know is that the Pythagorean theorem c squared equals a squared plus b squared will be used to find the absolute value. Last but not least, the absolute value is the distance from the complex point to the origin, or zero, zero. So our assessment problem will be to graph and find the absolute value of 3 plus 4i. And so here's the plane, and so the x-axis represents the real numbers, and the y-axis represents the imaginary numbers. So since our uh, complex number is 3 plus 4i, we want to go 1, 2, 3 on the real number axis, and then 4i would be 1, 2, 3, 4 on the imaginary number axis. So our point would be right there, and that would be 3 and 4i. Now, if you want to find the absolute value of this complex number, which is the distance from it to the origin, which is right here at 0, 0, you would use a Pythagorean theorem by finding the distance from the point to the real number axis, which would be 4, and then the distance from that part to the origin would be 3, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to find C. And to do this, we would use the equation uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so a would be 3, so a squared is 9, plus b squared, which would be 4 squared, which is 16, equals c squared. And so c would be the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So the absolute value is 5. And so here we have a practice problem where we would like you to stop and graph 5 plus 12i and find the absolute value of this point to the origin. So stop and do that. And then the next slide will show the answer. So after you're done, you can resume this video and um, continue watching. And the answer is right there. That's the point. And then the absolute value is 13.